Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And these are four patients who have clinical symptoms of migraine type headaches. And this is a very common uh, problem. About 10% of people worldwide complain of migraine headaches. They say it's three times more common in women, so about 17% of women complain of migraine headaches and 5% or so or 6% of men complain of migraine headaches. They can be really debilitating. Um, they have pain that is throbbing or pulsating. Sometimes it's just on one side of the brain, but often it's on both sides of the brain. They can be accompanied by an aura, and patients complain of nausea and sometimes vomiting related to these headaches. Patients can also be sensitive to light or sound or touch or even smells. And so a uh, very distinctive type of a headache. And again, on MRI, often it's just normal, but in the other half of patients, we'll see these little white matter specks. And so here they are. So this is the first patient. To get oriented, we see the eyes in front. Here's the right eye, left eye. And as we go on up, we're gonna see the gray matter around the rim. And it looks ribbon-like around the periphery, very bright. And in the middle, we see the white matter. White matter should be uniform, low in signal. But here we have a little white matter speck. This is a classic example of a white matter speck with migraines. Usually they're in the frontal lobes or frontal distribution. They can also be uh, towards the back, but they tend to be towards the frontal regions and they're in the central or sometimes peripheral white matter. So here's one in the peripheral left frontal white matter and then one over here in the peripheral right frontal white matter. As we go on up, we're gonna look for more of these. Here's another one right there. Sometimes there's just one or two and we wonder, are these really related to migraine headaches? Because uh, they can also, also have white matter specks and other things, old trauma. Sometimes they're just idiopathic. We don't know why they're there. But in a patient like this where they have multiple scattered lesions and they have a clinical history of the typical uh, um, uh, manifestations clinically, then we think these are related to migraines. Here's two more in back. We're gonna go on up, up, up. And that looks like it. So here we go. Now we're gonna go to the next patient. This patient has a larger burden of these white matter specks. But as we start down low, we see the right frontal lobe, left frontal lobe, and we start to see that classic appearance of frontal lesions here, more peripheral, multiple specks through here. These are a couple deep lesions here on the left and right. But numerous scattered white matter lesions all around the brain. Look like a starry night sort of picture. And so here is another patient coming up. Look at this patient, multiple up high. This is in the high uh, cerebral white matter. Now we're gonna go to the third patient here. It looks very similar to the last patient. The burden is not quite as great. We're gonna go on up, we see those classic lesions. Here's the left insula, part of the left frontal lobe. And on up, a couple right over here, really tiny ones. As we go up, we see more and more there, there, there. Again, it looks like a starry night sort of a picture. And now we're gonna go to the fourth patient here. And again, here we go, the frontal distribution, a couple of white matter specks there, one here, multiple on the right. And we're gonna go on up, up, up. And again, see numerous small scattered lesions, central and peripheral, predominantly in the frontal lobe. So. There's just four separate patients who have vascular migraines, and thank you very much.